I'm Derek Adams and I'm an artist. For me, I've always been interested in making art and it wasn't because I thought it was like a prestigious position or anything like that. I just thought about the way I communicate. It was very natural for me to communicate through visual construction. Performance to me, it's like getting the audience somehow involved and getting an immediate reaction when you do performance because you become really vulnerable and you put yourself out there to the audience and they're forced to respond. So even if they don't respond, there's still a response. I've done exhibitions and performances in various cities and states, which I enjoy. The whole idea of being successful is it cannot only exist or be shown in one place, it has to move. I came to New York in 1993 from, uh, to attend Pratt. I was just always really interested in an extension of where I was familiar with, which was from Baltimore and this area of Brooklyn, which I felt was, to me, I, I felt like it was con it's somehow related to where I came from. It's not unusual to have another artist come up to you and say, you know what, this place is really discouraging me. I need to move out of this city because I don't like what I'm seeing at the galleries or what I see artists making. And to me, my answer would be, that's why you should stay here and show them what to look at. If you believe that your work is strong and your ideas are relevant, then why would you leave? Make them listen. I'm always trying to make things fit that don't necessarily fit. I'm thinking about just how things connect with each other. It's almost like when I was a kid, you know, you're playing in your room and you're putting things together, you're taking things apart. You, you know, you're taking things that belong with other things together and trying to fix it and create something new. A juxtaposition of two things that it may be familiar to people may have a new existence as something new and fresh. It's like a new way of looking at something or, or talk about the kind of duplicitous way of how one thing can represent many things. When I see a word or I see an image, I always think about the possibilities of the image living in a different space or living in a different universe. And I'm interested in kind of like taking on that challenge when I'm making work. I'm in my studio thinking about a painting or thinking about a sculpture and I say to myself, is this the way that it should exist? Performance comes about when I know that this is the best way to communicate this particular idea. Right now I'm in the process of working on a new piece. This piece is called The Channel and the background is the emergency broadcast. A color bar that happens, you know, when the TV goes off. Um, and I was interested in, in talking about what happens when the TV goes off. That sound that happens, that I've always loved that sound. And I've, and I've always thought about how to kind of like reconfigure that sound into an actual physical experience. And the channel is a figurehead that's kind of like an, uh, a transformer. And he kind of comes into play after everything goes off. He comes on and the purpose is that he's coming to turn you on as you turn him on. You know, as an artist, you start to look at everything as sculpture. This is a sculpture, you know, this is, a, this is a toy, but I think that when I'm looking at things that I played with as a child, I also think about like, wow, I must have, it must have really left an impression on me. You know, something so, so simple as this. I think like maybe this may somehow inform like the way I'm thinking about art or thinking about myself or just everything. Sometimes when I'm thinking about, you know, what I'm doing, I think about that one time where you just do what you gotta do. It's almost like when that spotlight goes on, you, you have to respond. When the curtain opens or when the light comes on and when the movement comes, that's when you move. As an artist, I have to do this until I die. So if I'm gonna do something until I die, it may make it interesting for me.